extinction. It's something far away or long ago. Or is it? This little guy is a red knot. Scientific name Calidris canutus rufa. If you spend much time on beaches of the east U.S. coast, you know him. Have you watched a flock of birds on the beach testing the surf like a crowd of children? These are red knots. Or seen them enjoying the sand like all the other tourists? These are red knots. Ever watch a flock of birds take off, wheel around the beach, and land again? There are red knots here, too. No, they aren't always red. From July until April, they are brown and white, sort of in their traveling clothes as they move between the U.S. and South America. In May, they dress up for two months to have a little fun and raise some kids. That's when they're red. Along the Delaware shore in late May, they join other shore birds, like these turnstones, to carpet the sand with color. But the carpet is wearing thin. Our East Coast knots are disappearing. There were over 100,000 in the 1980s, 50,000 in 2000, down to 17,000 in 2006. How long till it's zero? This little guy's life is full of hazards. He flies over 18,000 miles a year, summers in the Arctic, winters near the Antarctic, faces storms, predators, and hunters, and now there's starvation. Their annual stopover along Delaware Bay is to fuel up on the millions of tiny eggs left over by breeding horseshoe crabs. This feast has always been enough to get them back to Canada, but in recent years, people have dredged up the pregnant crabs by the ton as they crawl ashore, thrown them into trucks, and hauled them off for fertilizer and as bait for eels and conch, popular foods in many parts of the world. No crabs means no eggs. With little left for them, fewer and fewer red knots make it home every year, and the population is crashing. Our small friend on the beach is about to become a memory. You can help prevent this. When you see birds on the beach, walk around them. Give them some peace to find a meal. Avoid eating seafood that is caught using horseshoe crabs. Tell your friends. With some luck and a lot of caring, our kids will still be able to marvel at the little bird whose name sounds like the wrapping on a Christmas present. Extinction isn't fixable. Extinction is forever.